okay, let's make a mosaic. Uh, there's several there's several different programs you can use to make a mosaic on a computer. Uh, the program that I found that works pretty good is a little program called Mosaica. I'm I think that's how you pronounce it. That may not be right. Uh, there is a shareware version of this program available that uh, does the exact same thing as the full version, except it won't let you save uh, as high quality as of mosaic when you're done. It's it's a little artifact and you can't get a uh, nice uh, final image. Uh, basically what a mosaic is, it's a big picture made up of little pictures. Now in order to get all those little pictures, uh, you need something that this program calls are tiles. Uh, tiles all have to be the same size, that way they all fit together to make your nice mosaic. And you're going to need a lot of them. Uh, it kind of depends what you're going to be making on how many you're going to need. If you're going to make like a logo or something, you're not going to need as many, maybe just a few hundred. But if you're going to do something with a lot of detail in it, like a face or something like that, or a group of people, you're going to need thousands. And the more, the better. Uh, there's several different ways you can get the tiles. You can scan in pictures. You can find pictures on the internet. Uh, you can take your own pictures. Uh, a cute little program that I found that helps you make the tiles is a little program called Click to Crop. And we'll just open this up. And I'll show you how this works real quick because this is kind of a cute little program. First thing we do is we open up our folder where we have some pictures. And what you can see here, and I'll show you the beauty of this program, you could make, you could do this uh, yourself with like Photoshop or, you know, paint or something like that, but to open and then crop and then save every single picture thousands of times is going to take you a long time to do. And this is a cute little program that'll, here I'll just show you how it works. You crop it to where you want. So you can like see his face a little bit better in the mosaic. And you just simply double click on it and it's gonna pop up a thing that says, hey, where do you wanna save this at? And I'm saying, oh, you can just save it there. And then you go to the next picture, it's Mark. And you zoom in and then you double click it again and it's gonna remember what you said the first time and it's gonna save it that exact same directory. Plus it's gonna, it's gonna, name it one more it's gonna name it uh, a different thing so that you don't have to go in and say okay now save this as save this as and it just oh it makes it so much faster there's Ron Brian and as you can see this 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 is gonna save you hours of time and it's a very cute way to make a lot of tiles fairly quickly okay so once you do that a few thousand times um, We'll go ahead and fire up Mosaica, and it's going to say, hey, what do you want to do today? And we're going to say, hey, we want to create a new tile library. Click on that. And it's going to say, hey, uh, where are those pictures at? Here I go. Oh, here, I'm going to show you. And I think I threw them. You know what? I've got a cute folder here that I've already... Let me just go ahead and use this one. And say, what kind of file types are in there? And there's JPEG. And it's going to say, hey, what uh, proportions are your tiles? They're square. And then it's going to say, where do you want to save that at? And that don't matter so much. Okay. Click create. And now what it's doing now is it's it's going through and it's scanning each and every one of those pictures to put it into an array so that the computer can use it uh, and mathematically match it to your source image. And I think I got a few thousand pictures in there, so it's going, it's going to take a little while. Lots of fun. Almost done. 
lot of pictures here and like I said the more pictures the better you really can't have too many pictures okay so the first thing we need to do is we need to open up the picture we want to make the mosaic of so why don't we do oh here let's do one of my little nephew with the football okay now here you're gonna set your grid size and you probably can tell that this is each one of these little tiles is going to be a different picture in your mosaic so where I would like to start is is what, what do you want to do with this do you want to make like a poster do you want to make like an 8x10 or, or what do you want to do the trick is is to make the pictures big enough the tiles big enough where you can see what it is but small enough where they make a nice mosaic when you step back uh, why don't we just start with uh, say we're gonna make a 20 by 30 poster so let's go ahead and make that 60 by 40. Kind of move that down a little bit so you can get part of the football in there. And save that. Okay. Now that we have our source picture, and then we're going to try to make a mosaic. Uh, you can use this little button down here, or you can go up to mosaic. Uh, this is called Smart Mosaic, and what that does is it's going to go through and it's going to outline the picture first, like the edges, and try to give it try to give the image a little bit more pop, and then it's going to fill in the rest of the image with uh, tiles. Let's go ahead and try that. Very cute. Okay. Uh, Making mosaic on a computer is a little bit science and a little bit art. You're not going to get what you want on the first try, I probably guarantee it. Uh, so there are several different uh, options you have available to you to uh, try to help you hone in on the image that you're looking for. Uh, one is how many times you want to, you can repeat a tile. Uh, right now I have six. So each individual tile is going to repeat or can repeat six times. The distance is how far each one of those tiles can be to uh, themselves. So if it's going to have uh, the same tile, if it's going to display at the same time, how far away is it going to be? It's not going to look very clever if you have like six tiles all in a row. It's going to stand out. Uh, so you can just play with that a little bit uh, and just get the effect you want. A good place I start at is a distance of 12 and a repeat of 6. But you can do like a repeat of auto and a, I think it defaults to 6 and auto. Let's see what that does. Now, the more that each tile repeats and the shorter the distance, the better the final mosaic is going to be or the closer the final mosaic is going to be to the original image. But then the more, time, the more times a, a certain picture is going to repeat and you're, it's not going to be as uh, um, clever, I guess. If that's what you're looking for, hey, that's awesome. That's, that's great. I like to have lots of individual tiles in my mosaic, so if somebody comes up and looks at it, they're like, wow, that's a lot of little pictures. Uh, another kind of mosaic you can do, or another type of, how, another way to generate it is something called, use something called random mosaic, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna go through and just randomly pick a place in the image and then find the best tile for that location. Instead of making an outline first, it's just gonna jump all over the screen. And, and sometimes that works a little bit better. I've had that, I've had really good success with that. Uh, if you if you see a certain mo a picture like hey like this one down here really stands out it's not working for me you can double click on it oh sorry not double click right click on it and it's going to show you what it picked and then like the five next best choices so if it's like you know we've seen that one a lot and it really stands out I think I want to do this one and you can replace it that's kind of cute and there's a bunch of other features in here but but that's that's enough to get you going. Um, okay, now you get the mosaic that you like. Let's go ahead and save the mosaic. And if you're going to upload it to the web uh, and order it like uh, from an online printing company, a lot of times th the problem we run in here is the file size is going to be too big. You won't be able to upload it. Now, that's not a problem if you're not under a time crunch and you can just like send them a CD or something. I know Walmart, you can they'll actually print like a great big poster for you but you can't upload it on their website the file size is going to be too big so but you can send them a CD or even take a CD into Walmart and they'll mail it for you 
Uh, so then it doesn't really matter. I've been burning on this CD. It'd be great, big, huge. A good place to start is probably resolution of 200, maybe 300 um, DPI. Uh, this is the units on just the height and the width. So we said we want to make it 20 by 30. So let's go ahead and we'll make this 30. You'll see that makes it a 30. So that each tile is going to be one half inch. Okay, this is really important. Then here it says use stored thumbs. What that means is at the beginning when we generated our tile library, it's going to go ahead and use the tiles that are in that tile library instead of scanning the original pictures over again. Now when you're just starting out and you're, you're just playing with it and you're wanting to see what kind of mosaic it's going to make, just use the stored thumbs. It's going to go so much faster. But then when you're all done and you're like, yep, that's the money mosaic. That's the one we want. Go ahead and uncheck that one and it's going to rescan the original tiles and uh, you're going to get a much higher quality mosaic. It's the difference between night and day. But for right now, just leave that check because if we uncheck that, it would take a long, long time to generate. So we're going to go ahead and just say that's awesome. Save that. And why don't we just save that on the desktop? And that's the jpeg option. And here it comes up again. It's like, hey, there's a big warning here. Uh, you sure you want to use the tile in your library? Because it doesn't look great. And we're going to use, yeah, use Stuart Thumbs. There it goes. Awesome. OK. There we go. Beautiful. We'll zoom in all the way in. You can see there's a lot of artifacting. And if we would have unchecked that use uh, the stored thumbs, these would have been a lot higher quality. These would have looked like, like the real pictures. Uh, but that's good enough to see if we like it or not. Um, there. That, that's about it. That's all you need. Uh, I will throw up some tile. Here, let me just show you. I will throw up some sample tiles in case you don't want to sit and crop 5,000 little pictures. I don't know, not everybody's into that. Here is a whole bunch of tiles of actors. I think there's, yeah, it was like 3,600 of them. that I get you a good start. I really don't know who most of these people are, but apparently they're actors. And here's another one. Uh, I think these are uh, like DVD covers, or actually they kind of look like VCR covers. Sorry to be old school on you. Maybe not, maybe they're just cropped weird. I don't know, but there's some. And I'll throw some sample tiles on there just so you got something to play with. Here are some finished mosaics that I've already made. Um, here is one of me and my lovely wife, and this is, uh, I used the tile library that we just generated, uh, with little pictures of me and her, are we, oh, I'm so cool, very awesome, uh, here's another one, I got this one hanging in my office. Awesome. Oh, here's one of my mom and dad. Lots and lots and lots of little pictures. Oh. Here's one of my wife. Uh, these are all little pictures of her. I like to take pictures and most of the time, she's the one that's sitting there when I go, hey, I want to take a picture. So she gets her picture taken a lot. And she does a really good job with it, too. At first, when we first, you know, were engaged, she wasn't quite for sure if uh, that was a whole lot of fun, but she's gotten used to it. Uh, here's one I made for ESU 10, and these are all the ESU 10 employees. 
it's kind of cool because uh, the gold here or the yellow it kind of makes it look like I colored them and they're not colored it's just because of the different lighting temperature of where the color the pictures were taken uh, the, this is you know taken inside and Tuscan lighting like the light bulbs inside your house have a yellow tint to them and you really don't notice it when you're sitting in your house you know watching TV but when you compare that to like a outside picture or something like that it's really apparent how yellow it really is and down here these were taken mostly in our office at ESU 10 and fluorescent lighting shoots off a blue or green tint and so it's just kinda cool the way that worked out okay there we go if you have any questions or anything uh, feel free to uh, shoot me an email or uh, give me a call thanks <laughs>